Hey guys, Rob here, Beer and Bushcraft. Um, uh, today I want to talk about the Crossman American Classic. I understand uh, through a little research that this is a gun that was originally released in the 70s. It comes in a uh, .177 and a .22 caliber. Um, it's just a big pistol that's got um, a pump action on it. So you can pump this up, you know, the more you pump it, the more uh, force it has the more jewels as it were um, I, uh, I believe it stops at about 15 pumps but um, I apologize for the shadows this is um, model number uh, P1377 you can get this on Amazon and what's fun about this is not only it's a nice gun for backpackers and people who um, you know I don't know it it's just a very compact pump action pellet gun and it's very popular because you can mod this thing to kingdom come like um, if you haven't seen this before just type in uh, crossman uh, 1377 and some of the mods are really spectacular a lot of people have done a lot of crazy stuff with this I don't I have not I've got um, Basically, they kind of promote it as a moddable gun um, in that they sell a um, extended stock for it. All right? So now you've got your extended stock. It's kind of like a, a little carbine here. But um, Crossman makes this. A lot of the mods are aftermarket stuff. You can buy new barrels. You can buy new sights. You can buy new breeches. You can buy new springs. You can buy every part of it is replaceable you can buy a new um, you know a different weight trigger so it's a really fun gun to just uh, mod and if you're into plinking and I am um, I don't I've never hunted with this particular gun and if you're into plinking um, this is a fun one it really is um, it's a $50 price tag you can get it at most sporting goods stores and you can get it on Amazon for $50 it comes in two versions, the uh, wood handle one and the uh, black handle one. Uh, I think mine's the black handle one, but it's just plastic scales. The wood, I think in the 70s it was actual wood, and um, this was actual wood too, the uh, pump for it. So now they just make it out of 100% plastic. It's called the American Classic, and um, you can mod this thing, like I said, heavily, heavily, heavily. So. Uh, I've already, you know, taken this out. I bought this for a Christmas present to myself about seven months ago. Um, yeah, it says it shoots up to uh, 600 feet per second, and I'm sure that's variable depending on what kind of pellets you're using. Um, speaking of pellets, though, uh, they say don't use anything but certified Crossman pellets. And normally that's just gibberish. Um, I wouldn't pay attention to know that warning however I have gotten pellets stuck in this before gamo pellets will get stuck um, daisy pellets will get stuck depending on you know how, you know certain pellets are just not quite as uh, you know round as other ones some of them have uh, anyway uh, I would only use this with crossman ammunition just from experience uh, and that's what I've got here um, some crossman round points and I just, rather than do a um, review on its power or its accuracy, I just thought I'd try and uh, show off its consistency for plinking. And um, what I like to uh, plink with, you know, I shoot at bottle caps from like 50 yards, and that's fun. Um, but for the sake of the video, I've got some of these uh, tornado snap and pops. And. Um, You've, you've seen snap and pops. You just throw these down. They're little white bags. You throw them down, they pop. These are a little bit heavier duty. They're um, the same concept. You just throw it down and it pops uh, on impact. So I like to shoot at these for plinking. Um, you can see it's basically just a firecracker with no fuse. Um, these are water dynamites. And it's only a little bit smaller than a water dynamite so it, it makes a big um, pop so um, I like to shoot at 
these little torpedo guys. And um, yeah, I'm just gonna show off the consistency of it, not really the, um, you know, the range or anything. You know, maybe I'll do some range tests, but um, let me show you what I've done to mine. I, I don't have any of the details handy, but I did put the stock on the back. Yeah, let me hold this back here. Um, I did, I took a new barrel and uh, the barrel I got was off eBay. Uh, the guy apparently was uh, buying longer Crossman barrels in bulk and then sawing them off himself and it's it's pretty solid. Uh, if anybody wants the links, I'll try and find them. I'll have to go through my email receipts. But um, this is like the $8 Crossman scope. I don't like uh, the Crossman scope. I don't like any scopes when I'm plinking. I, I just feel like it's cheating. But um, the front sight for the Crossman is real cheap. Um, you have to obviously take off. Um, I replaced this piece. I replaced... Um, the barrel I replaced the breech pin here but uh, I don't know ex you know if anyone's interested uh, text me on it or put it in the comments and I might do a follow-up to this with more details uh, so I extended the barrel length the front sight's real cheap but the back sight Crossman wants 30 bucks for this thing so I just figured well I don't have 30 bucks right now I'm just gonna get this cheap Crossman stock and you can position it um, you know, there's some options on where to put it. It's got the um, regular uh, dovetail rails here. It's not the uh, AR-15 rails. <laughs> but it does look like a cool little carbine. And um, if you didn't modify it and you left it in the pistol configuration, it would be a good backpacking gun. So let me... Um, I'm going to tape some of these uh, torpedo guys up onto a board and uh, just show the consistency. I'll cut out... Um, me pumping it up because that's you know it does take a while you gotta pump it a bunch of times and it's bolt action here so um, I'll probably cut all that out and just leave the um, the results so here we go okay guys um, I set up the um, little popper guys on that piece of plywood you can see I put five of them I just taped them to them and believe it or not this is about 20 feet between here and there you know you can't even really see them from here um, but yeah these are actually uh, crossman pointed ones and yeah I'm just gonna take a um, a few shots I'll leave in the misses so you can see but uh, this is just demonstrating the consistency and um, let's just go ahead and set it up I hope you can see those. Here we go. So it was five hits out of six shots. Um, there you go. And, and I don't know really what this proves. 20 feet's not very far, but it's consistent. Um, so let me get back for a final thought here. Okay, guys. Last thing I should mention is um, the breach here. Um, I don't know if I can get this on camera. A lot of the time when you put a pellet in, it doesn't slide in very smoothly. Let's see if I can get this. Probably not. Uh, 
All right, you see it here? That time it did. So, let me get rid of this one. Damn. I just want to demonstrate the failure on this. Um, you can see this here. Gets a little jammed here. It's magnetic. The, the little arm here is magnetic, but still not quite going in all the way. Now, if I force it, it'll get sideways. So you got to kind of just jiggle it in which is no fun for anybody there uh, now I think I see this is just a bad pellet I think so this thing is real fickle real fickle as far as um, the pellets that it takes here let me do one more let's see Pretty round, pretty good looking. Doesn't look deformed. Drop it in. It should be in. I should be able to fire it. Just gonna fire it up at this uh, board again. So. I'd say about like 25% uh, of the pellets just don't really want to go in there properly. Um, that's something to think about. It's, it's going to take a minute to reload every time. And for plinking, that's kind of a shame because, um, you know, sometimes I like to just fire, 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 fire. But yeah, it's it might have to do with the modifications I made to it. Um, this is a new breech pin. And you know, it might be a little bit better right out of the box. So that's just something to think about. Um, yeah, it's a it's a fun little toy. It's a fun little gun. Um, like I said, I don't really care for the um, the scope on it because it, I feel like it's cheating when you're just plinking bottle caps and shit, and firecrackers. But um, that back thing from Crossman's about 34 bucks. I'll get it eventually, but I, I just didn't have the money at Christmas to get it. I was buying shit for everybody else. Anyway, that's um, it for this one, I think. Uh, peace, guys.